I would like to do a how to foundation so the first thing that you want to be concerned about when you are going to put on your face make makeup and with, when I'm talking about face makeup I'm speaking about your foundation I'm speaking about uh, your blush I am speaking about not even eyeshadow you don't have to wear you know just your regular complexion what's going to make your complexion look how you want it to look so today I want to get into the basics and again the basics would be your base and probably a concealer and if you do have cystic acne how you really want to approach that there's a philosophy behind that I promise you that there's a way in which you can do it and look natural as natural as possible and that way is and I guess this will be the big tip in this video for those of you who do suffer from acne get yourself a full coverage the the base itself should be close to full coverage this is not full coverage for those of you with very very good skin you can just pull off a BB cream in your shade and be good and maybe just put one layer of the foundation that's right for your skin tone but what I was trying to get at here is you're gonna also want to get a concealer so in this order you would do your your moisturizing you let that set for a minute then you turn around and get into possibly um, a layer of of this and the reason why I like to use this regardless of your skin type not skin tone um, is because of all of the good ingredients that are in here this is packed with vitamin C which is very very good for your skin and as well as other um, ingredients active ingredients that are excellent for your skin and then once all of that sets then you're going to want to start getting into your base now this is the Lumi foundation and this here is by L'Oreal I'm sorry this is a true match and this is their Lumi and this is L'Oreal you're going to want to get a good concealer and foundation is not meant to cover you completely cover your skin and that's why you'll notice there's not a whole lot of full coverage foundations. They're mostly light to medium coverage. This is meant for your own skin to show through the, the natural luminosity of your own skin to show through. And this will even out your skin tone and give you a level, you know, complexion. And then when you want to get into covering that, acne or spots this is what this is for foundation is not meant to give you this mask appearance cover everything up including the good skin the natural beauty beautiful skin that's got no blemishes and is is naturally luminous and like it's in synergy with your skin so it looks as natural as possible. So we're going to do a very natural look right now. So I'm just going to take a pump. Or two. Alright, so about that much. And then I'm going to thin it out. So that it's in synergy with my skin. So I'm going to just dip. I, you can do this this way or you can pat it onto the skin and then either way it's gonna give you the same finish so now I'm just going to starting from the middle of my face blend that in you know want to get also a foundation that is as close to your skin tone as possible extra right here and because this is exactly a match for me I do not need to do this okay I'm going to because I do have a blemish down here but and then you're gonna want to make sure all of this is nicely blended and I'm gonna thin mine out just a tiny bit further with a kabuki brush 
And this is by Essence of Beauty. I just want to make sure it's thinned out so that it is in synergy with my skin. It looks like it is my skin. That's the look that you want to go for, to look as natural as possible. Okay, I think that's as thinned out as I'm going to get it. It's a concealer brush, and I have a little extra sitting here that I'm going to mix in. And this is by Bare Miner Mineral Stroke of Light. And I'm going to want to use this just where I have a little bit of darkness. And you can use this also on your spots because this concealer is creamy. So if you are dry under your eyes, you want a nice creamy. The Fit Me concealers are very, very good for this. And this, Bare Minerals, that Fit Me would be a direct dupe for this. So I'm just wanting to get in here. And you want your, the surrounding skin the concealer to blend into the surrounding skin so it's extremely important that you get the proper shade of concealer you have to know your concealers and that's that's really really important these are face concealers this one would be used it's got yellow in it and that is to counteract redness i have no redness so i'm going to use the one that is close to my skin tone and this is going to help me to get in here and cover some of these spots. And again, you're going to want to blend that in as much as possible. And you're going to want to write in synergy with your skin. So when you are done and you walk outside, you're not going to look like you've got all this product. And you're not going to look fake and cakey. You're going to look luminous and you're going to look flawless and you're going to look like you didn't apply any foundation. That's pretty much how it should look. I skipped it, but you guys shouldn't. Get yourself a nice primer and a nice uh, pour. Just uh, pour erasers. And I always make sure I have these on hand. So my bad but you guys should invest in one this here is by nyc and this is a translucent powder and this is going to do for me the same thing that the banana powder does and i'm not looking to highlight so i'm just going to use this to set my t-zone and unless you're severely oily everywhere else you should probably just do this area here we're going to pop off some of this take off the excess and just a high end one that's also really good is the Veil by Bare Minerals. And I have that right here. I use it all the time. And um, so that's also perfect for. And I know I did a little bit, just a little bit, what was left on the brush on the other sections. But I am concentrating on my T zone and get in here under the eyes. And this is going to give your your makeup longevity and stop your under eye creasing. And there are powders just for your under eyes, but I just don't see that you have to have two different powders for that. This is Sephora, and they have liquid blushes, and they come in these little packs in three different shades. So if you're going high-end, Sephora makes one that is it's ten dollars so it's not bad in price and if you're gonna go department store or drugstore um here are two by l'oreal and this is their visible their blur lines and i got two shades here and also rimmel do one that's really nice and also i've got two shades and this is their stay blushed line so I'm looking for a really fresh natural looking face like I just got up out of the bed and I look all nice and rosy just naturally so with that in mind then you're gonna want to get something that 
naturally attracts light to the face. So I've got this also Sephora Illuminizer and um, keeping in mind that again in this case less is a lot more. You're going to want to do this in the most subtle way and I do believe that the product is quite subtle anyway. Um, so the dupes for the one I'm holding now would be these ones here by Revlon and then this is their photo ready skin lights and I have two shades here. I don't know like dropper. Oh yeah. Dropper technology. So I put a little bit here on my hand. And I'm going to use my foundation brush to blend this in. Yeah, this is going to be quite subtle. And this is, I would say, this is a very nice dupe for the Becca Shimmering Perfector. And just right where the light is going to hit your face. And here a little and just on the very tops of my brows this shade which is very very light kind of peachy and like I said I also have um, a high end I'm just about that much and then taking just the tiniest bit I'm going to put this, just introduce it little bit by little bit, and then with the foundation brush, so that you have just a little bit of a hint of color. I love these. I love, love, love these. And I would recommend that everybody have liquid blush. Because if you're looking for this fresh, healthy look, then these really, really help to achieve that. Getting a little socket or some definition in there, which I would do with a matte brownish color like this. And this has got a little tiny, uh, tiny hint of red in it but not enough where it's going to look weird or anything like that. So here I'm going to take my tapered brush, and I also could use this brush here, and this is by, this is by Wet n Wild, but it's got an angled shape to it, so either one would have worked. So I'm going to use this one because I can blend. It's nice and, and fluffy. I can blend at the same time. So I'm going to dip this in here, and then just coming right up in here, right where the socket with my eyes open so I can see and I'm gonna shade in here I'm contouring so this is not about a look this is about getting some shape to the eyes and once I have it in there I'm gonna take off the and I'm going to blend it in so there, there's not a definite line because that's not gonna look nice at all this would be the finished look. And I'm going for this. This is what I look like sort of effect. Nice, fresh, healthy look to the face. Flawless. Nice texture. Um, luminosity. Just a healthy look to you, you know. And an and, and, and anti-aging look. So this is what I would go for. If there's anything that I you, think, you guys think I missed... Or um, just so you want to leave a comment, please do so down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be a full-on daytime look again. And I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.